Hey guys, Joe here. Uh, today we're going to be doing a video on the hot tub once again. If you've seen my other videos, you know I've done a couple on the plug and play hot tubs, 110 volt one that I have that I bought on Amazon. I'll put the link down below. Uh, so I'm not going to go into the setup. Watch my other videos for that. This video is going to be more about the how much power it uses, what you can expect to pay a month, because everyone always worries about with the hot tub. Um, how much more it's going to cost as far as running the electricity, running the tub, the heater, the jets, how often we use it. So one of the great things about these plug and play hot tubs is, you know, just put them in the backyard, plug them in full of, full of water and, and you're on your way. There's pros to that. There's also cons to not converting to 220. Some say it costs more to run it at 110 because you're using uh, more current, you know, because you're drawing half the half the voltage so you have more current if they say if you put it to 220 you're doubling the voltage but you're cutting the current in half but the electric company charges you for kilowatt hours not by current and not by voltage so we're going to discuss that and see exactly how this how this hot tub works we're going to be using the kilowatt which maybe i'll superimpose something over there um, the kilowatt meter so we can see how much the tub uses when it's running, when it's idle. We're going to do it over a 24 hour period and we're going to use the tub one time for a, a 20 minute test, uh, which is you know about the average time in a, in a hot tub. So that's what this test is going to be based on. All right, so for this test, these conditions may be different from yours. So of course the results are going to be different depending where you live. This is currently winter here in New York. I live on Long Island. Um, this test was done on Saturday. I started at one in the afternoon and I ended it on Sunday at one in the afternoon. Actually, I went a little bit over, but I adjusted that, um, so I'll show you. But anyway, the average temperature between that 24 hour period was 32 degrees. I averaged the, the high and the low for Saturday and the high and the low for Sunday and turned out to 32.75 degrees. So this test will be for running the tub for 24 hours in 32.75 degree average temperature. So you'll see how much uh, it'll take plus running the tub one time for a 20 minute, 20 minute soak in the tub. So all right, let's go, uh, let's go run some numbers. It's one o'clock, I don't know if I can see that. Can you see that? I can't, oh yeah. All right, I plugged this in at one o'clock. This is the kilowatt. So we're gonna do this for 24 hours. Right now you see it's using 326 watts. Of power. This is on 110 volts, obviously. So this is a test to see how much this consumes in one day. So you can kind of figure out your electric bill, how much this is going to cost you. Right now, I actually have the jets running. So that's running at 325 watts. Um, I'm going to turn the jets off. Oh, let's see. This is the jets on high. Hey, you got 1,500 watts, 1,530 watts. It uses when the jets are on high. It turns the heater off when the jets are on high. So there is the jets off. Let me turn the bubbles off. And right now we're down to six watts. That's its idle power when it's not doing anything. Obviously you see the jets aren't on right now. Um, the heater's not on, definitely not at six watts. We're gonna come back in 24 hours from now and we'll see, you know, this will tell us our kilowatts per hour, um, you know, our, our time, that's our, uh, the hertz that it's running at, which is 60, 59.9. There's our wattage, our amps, we're at 0 .7, 0 0.07 amps. Actually, let's turn it on and see what the amperage is. With the jets, that's with the jets on low. Drawing. Let's see if I can get out of this on here. 4.43 amps. Let's throw this on high. Let's see what kind of amperage we're pulling. All right. So yeah, we're pulling 13.85 amps. You can clearly see why they say you need at least a dedicated 15 amp circuit because you're pulling almost 14 amps. Um, with just the jets on high and with the heater on, I don't know, the heater hasn't kicked on right now. Actually, the jets, the motor just kicked in. So we're at 4.43 amps. That's with the filter running. 
311 watts, 325 watts. That's when it's running uh, with the heater on and it's keeping the heat up to temperature. So let's come back 24 hours from now and we'll see what our total consumption is, how many watts we use, how many kilowatts per hour, and then we can figure out how much this is going to cost. This is winter. We're at December, what's today, the 21st. And it's like in the low 30s, mid 30s today. So we'll uh, we'll come back and we'll uh, see what it's doing. All right. So part of my test for the power consumption of the tub. Uh, it's not been 24 hours yet. It's 9:28 in the morning. Just got back from the gym, soaking in the hot tub. So we're gonna use the hot tub one time for 20 minutes. So that'll be factored into the test as well. All right, I lied. It's been more than 24 hours. It's been actually 25 hours. It's 2.15. I wanted to come out here at 1, but we were at the party across the street. So we're at 13.99 kilowatt hours at 25 hours and 9 minutes. So we'll figure out the math on that. All right, so as you can see, we've got, um, we've got the numbers. You see how much the, the tub uses when it's on, when it's off, uh, when it's running idle, when you're actually in it, when the, when the jets are going, jets high, low, and I'll kind of break down those numbers uh, a little bit more. But as you see, over the 24 hour period, we were actually 25 hour period, it was 13.99 kilowatts for that 25 hour period. Sorry, I got a piece of paper here because I, I can't remember all these numbers. So anyway, it was 25 hours and nine minutes. So divide that by 13.99, we got 1.78 kilowatts per hour that it uses. So we divide 24, uh, 24 hours divided by 1.78, we come out with 13.48 kilowatt hours for a 24 hour period since I went over by that one hour. So it averages out to 13.48 kilowatt hours for 24 hours in 32 degree weather using the tub one time for 20 minutes. Um, at 102 degrees, I forgot to mention that. I do run, I keep my tub at 102 degrees. You could put it to 104, uh, which is the max allowed by law for any hot tub. But I keep mine at 102. Anything hotter than that, I find even 102 to be, you know, uh, pretty hot when you first get in there. Um, so anyway, here we use PSCNG for electric and our current rates are 10 cents per kilowatt hour. It's like 0 0.106 something, blah, 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 whatever. So the drum roll, 10 cents per kilowatt hour times 13.48 kilowatt hours. That's what we used in a 24 hour period equals $1.34 per day to run the tub. Uh, using it one time for 20 minutes. The rest of the time just running idle and cycling and keeping the temperature at 102 degrees. So $1.34 per day, multiply that by let's say 31 day a month, that equals $41.79 a month. Now, that's it, it sounds like a lot and it, it's, I'd say that's accurate because my electric bills have jumped up about that much uh, when I compare it to my last year's electric bills. In the winter, we really don't use much electric here. Uh, everything else is gas heat and, and whatever and I've got LED lights and you know uh, efficient lighting so our electric is, is usually much lower in the winter. So it did jump up about 40 bucks, 30, 40 dollars. But that also, uh, like I said, this is winter. I got the tub at the end of October, so I really haven't got to use it in warmer weather yet. So right when I got the tub, it's, it's, it was the beginning of winter and temperatures have only been going down. We're now in February, so you know we're, we're used to 30, 35, 40 degree days. Hoping once summer hits, springtime, that usage will come down. And I will do another test um, once the warmer weather hits and we'll see how much it uses in warm, warmer weather, right now we're at the peak of, of cold season. So yeah, it's using you know almost 14 kilowatts per per day to run it at that at those cold temps. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, if you're done with the video and that's all you wanted to know, then get out of here, go watch another video. Um, next thing we're going to discuss is about converting to 220 because I'm still that's still kind of you know on my list of may or may not do. Um, I, I don't know if it's going to be more efficient. 
It may be just because the heater doesn't have to run so much, but yet this hot tub, when you do convert it to 220, that heater kicks from 1,000 watts to 4,000 watts when it's at 220. Um, you know, like I mentioned before, a lot of people think, oh, well, you double the voltage, you cut the current in half, and that's going to save you money. You know, theoretically, yes, that, that, that does sound right, but like I said before, you, got, you also have to realize your electric company charges per kilowatt hour. They don't care about your current. They care about your, your kilowatts per hour you're going to use. So your kilowatts per hour is still going to be up there. Even though your, your current is half, you're still using 4,000 watts you know, compared to, let's say, 1,000 watts with the, when it's at 110 and you're running the heater at, at a lower temperature. Um, as you saw when you kicked the jets on high, it went up to like 13, 1400 watts as it was running. You know, the thing was almost pulling in 14 amps, which is, you know, why they say you got to use a dedicated 15 amp breaker. Um, mine's on a 20 amp shared. I, I want to say shared because I've got like one light lamp that it's on the same circuit. Uh, so I don't even consider it. But I would definitely recommend 15 amp dedicated. Don't put anything else on there. Uh, or you know, 20 amp, maybe a couple little lights on, on there, but that that's about it. Uh, but when you convert it to 220, your heating time is less. You can keep the tub at a lower temperature. You know, let's say you don't use the tub a lot during the week, and you only use it on the weekends. Well, you can keep the temperature down low. Let's say maybe 80 degrees, and you know you're going to use that that tub. You know, maybe Friday night, or you, or you're going to use it. You know, maybe Saturday couple hours before you could bump up the temperature it'll get up to temperature a lot faster this if you look at my last videos um, at 110 it averages about uh, two degrees per hour to heat it up so you can save money by lowering the heat but you know you got to bump it back up like almost 24 hours before you're going to use the tub and I've actually tried that I've, I've lowered it um, down to I keep it at like 80 degrees right now like during the week if I know I'm not using it and then Friday morning before I go to work I'll go bump up the temperature to like 102 so you know maybe by Friday night or Saturday morning it's it's back up to up to temperature so it, it's kind of hard to tell if you're gonna save money because you're using uh, more watts but your heating time isn't as much um, with 110 you're using less watts but your uh, heating time takes longer so it, it's I don't think you're gonna save much um, maybe you know if you're an electrician or you know how to do electric and it's just gonna cost you the the amount for materials to convert it then yeah I would do it but if you're have to hire an electrician it can cost you know up to a thousand dollars even more depending on the the location uh, to get your tub wired for for 220 you're probably not going to see that uh, money made back over the over the time if you didn't convert it. So I, I don't know for me I might just leave it at 110 for now and we'll let's see what happens in the summer. Check back. We'll we'll check another video and we'll we'll measure the wattage and see what kind of you know what kind of wattage it's pulling per day. Hopefully <laughs> it goes down much more because I don't know what my electric bill is going to be like in the summer running AC and running that that hot tub as well. But, uh, but we'll see. So anyway, thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you like the video, hit like, hit subscribe if you want. And leave comments, questions. I try to read all the comments. I try to answer any questions. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Later.